Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system, the features of the CNS and PNS, and then we'll finish with a summary. So first of all, let's talk about the central nervous system as opposed to the peripheral. The nervous system is a term that we use to describe the entire network made up of all of the neurons in the body. So remember, the neuron is the individual cell that carries electrical impulses, and the collection of these is found in nerves, and all of the nerves in the body collectively added together is called the nervous system. And you can see that nerves go around all different parts of the body, and they have a central part to them as well. And we can divide the nervous system into two main parts, and they are the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. So the central nervous system, or CNS, consists of the nerves in the center of the body. And we'll get onto more of this in a bit more detail later on. But this is the central nervous system here, running through the core of the body. And the peripheral system, or the PNS, is the nerves that radiate out from the CNS to the rest of the body, like our limbs, around the trunk, up to the head, everywhere else. The central nervous system, or the CNS, is mostly made up of a type of neuron which is a relay, or otherwise known as an intermediate neuron. So when we look in the brain and the spinal cord, these are the types of neurons that we tend to see. And these intermediate neurons are mostly neurons which only have connections with other neurons. So the relays aim to sort of send signals between other neurons and connect them together in different networks. And then eventually these signals will get to longer neurons, which aren't relay or intermediate neurons, and then they'll be sent to either an effector or a receptor. So relays do what the word relay means, they pass it on, and they're intermediate, so they're in between neurons. And the central nervous system itself is composed of the brain and the spinal cord. So the central nervous system is the central part of the nervous system, composed only of the brain and the spinal cord. So we've got the brain inside our head, which is protected in the skull, and then connected to this, but running down our spine in the back, this is the whole spinal cord. And together, these two make up the CNS. The peripheral system is slightly different. The peripheral nervous system, or PNS, acts as the interface between the CNS and the environment. So remember, the CNS is in the center, but the peripheral nervous system communicates things from the environment towards the CNS, and it also sends things out from the CNS to the places that interact with the environment. The PNS is made up of different types of neurons, specifically motor and sensory neurons. So sensory neurons take information from a sense organ or receptors towards the CNS, where it's then processed as information. And then motor neurons take information away from the CNS to effectors. So sensory goes to the CNS, sensory out. And as we said, the neurons connect the CNS to the receptors and the effectors. So the receptors at the beginning of the sensory neurons are detecting changes in our environment. And once this information has gone to the CNS and been processed, the motor neurons are sending instructions out to effectors. And these effectors can usually be divided into muscles or glands. So by definition, the peripheral nervous system is made of sensory and motor nerves connecting the sensory receptors and the effectors to the CNS. So there are different features found in the CNS and the PNS, which again define them into their two separate areas. A lot of nerves in the CNS are unmyelinated. So remember, a myelination refers to Schwann cells wrapping their membranes and lipids around the cells. But in the case of the CNS, they're unmyelinated. So the Schwann cells are still present but we don't have this wrapping of membranes around the nerves, so we still call them unmyelinated. And these unmyelinated neurons make up the grey matter which we find in the brain and the spinal cord. So when we look in the brain, we can see two main colours of region. There's white matter, which is the paler, whiter looking substance, and the grey matter. And the grey matter in the brain lies on the outside, but in the spinal cord it lies on the inside. And it's the grey matter which is made up of unmyelinated neurons. However, the CNS does also contain some myelinated neurons, whereby we see the neuron in the centre, and then the Schwann cell wraps its membrane round and around in a spiral-like fashion to add layers of myelin to the neuron. 
and the myelinated neurons make up not the grey matter, but the white matter of the brain and the spinal cord. So you can see the white matter consists of this region on each side of the brain, and in the spinal cord, the outside region, just surrounding the grey matter. And it's the myelin which gives it that white colour. And the CNS is the largest control centre of the body and it has to be protected. And the spinal cord is protected by the spine, the brain is protected by the skull. So the casings of the skull and the spinal cord allow protection of the central nervous system which tends to run on the inside of these cavities and inside the cavity for the brain. And the peripheral nervous system, in contrast, contains a lot of myelinated neurons and not so many unmyelinated neurons. And these bundle together into large groups to form nerves. So this is where people can get confused. A neuron is the individual cell, and then lots of neurons group together in multiple groups, forming an overall structure, which is called a nerve. So a nerve contains many, many neurons, and we would refer to nerve as being a tissue. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for an amazing A-level biology resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face, and together, let's make A-level biology a walk in the park.